Hey guys, what's up? It's Iflin here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm some syndicate medallions because they can really help you out whenever it comes to that early syndicate faction grind, especially whenever you're going for like a weapon augment mod like uh, the Shattered Justice augment, which you can get for your heck, which gives you 200% multi shot, which is basically doubling your damage uh, very early game. That can be super useful, but getting that reputation past like your master rank limit can be very frustrating because like of course you have a limit to how much reputation you can get within a day and then getting it these um steel meridian little like medallions or any uh you know syndicate for that matter you can use those to sort of like go over your cap i guess because you get these daily missions which you can play so what i'm going to recommend to you guys if you're a player who you can you know mess around with his or her loadout and kind of just like get a few things which may help you out um i'm going to be using Lucky in this video and this is the build that i'm going to be running it's just an invis build um with rush and feast wit so we can go through and we can um find our medallions a lot faster um so just go for duration go for a tiny little bit of range if you want to you can replace rush or stretch or something you don't need the prime versions of the mods that i'm showing here the regular versions will work as well and um you know they're, they're pretty common mods to you know sort of come across if you watch my beginner guides you'll definitely know all about the mods that i have on this build moving on we are going to be using the ignis wraith and the reason that we're using this weapon is because it allows us to clear rooms of all the little small containers which um would appear on our mini map because of the mod that we have equipped on loki here known as Feast Whip, which is basically going to highlight where the um, Syndicate Medallions are going to be for us, right? So they'll just show up in the mini-map, and uh, you can just go ahead and pick them up. But if you have a bunch of crates in the way, then it turns into a problem trying to differentiate, like, which one is a crate and which one is a Steel Meridian uh, Medallion. So that's why the Ignis Wraith is here, just because it allows you to clear those rooms. We have Sinister Reach on here. To actually increase the range of it so it turns into a really efficient sort of create destroyer and uh, you'll notice that trend with all the weapons that we have um, in this sort of loadout um, other than that this is just a status build with rifle and mutation and serration heavy caliber split chamber you know pretty straightforward we have the atomos it's basically like a mini ignis this is the build i'm running on it um, you know you can throw on like ruminous extension if you want as well and that will increase the range of this too this is just a damage build that i'm running right now i haven't really messed around with it that much and then obviously i have my adrax on here with my prime reach you can use the regular reach if you want to and you can swap maiming strike for um true steel prime pressure point for the regular pr pressure point and then that is pretty much it weeping winds this is a event mod as well so you're gonna have to buy this for 100 platinum if you want to use it or you can swap it out for some of our um status type mod which will basically give you more um uh damage from you know status effects like condition overload for example you could throw that on there different things like that so that's the build i'm running i'm also running a mod called animal instinct on my uh, sentinel here so we get more lit radar it basically just you know increases the uh, range of it on the mini map and that is pretty much it so if we move on up to our navigation here go to this little symbol right here and then we can choose any mission we want defense missions are usually like really easy to sort of find the medallions because like they're very small right sometimes they don't spawn sometimes only three medallions spawn sometimes you know six medallions spawn it just sort of depends and it also depends on the level of the mission um but we're gonna go ahead and i guess we'll take the middle grind and we'll go with um this uh sabotage mission right here because sabotage is very fast very easy and it's also like a decently uh, large tile set which we can go through and sort of find all of our medallions so there's a few places that I would sort of avoid um, looking for your uh, medallions, which is actually this tile set right here. But um, what you'll notice is if you look in the mini map, you can see the little create containers there. Just go ahead and burn everything and then see if there's anything left behind. And then you can sort of like look around for yourself and see if there's um, a medallion anywhere. So that's what you really want to be doing. So here's a medallion right here. You can see it on the mini map. All you have to do is go ahead, pick it up, and you'll see that you can get eight in this mission and you just want to be running around and looking for these and then what we can do with these whenever we're done uh, finding all of them uh, every single day we can go ahead and we can turn them in at our um, faction vendor and then we can um, 
this could get more standing for our syndicate, right? So the ones that I'm picking up right now are for the, um, what are they called? The parent sequence. So I can go to the parent sequence in the relay and give these guys these little medallions here and I'm going to get more standing for them. So there is different like rarities or types of uh, medallions which will give you more or less uh, standing depending on which one you get. So you just want to sort of, you know, get all of them every time you play a mission. So it, it's worth sort of spending your time to find them. It's I know it's a lot to sort of do, like it's a big ass to kind of just invest in the finding these things all the time, but it can definitely be worth it, at least in my opinion, because like as an early game player, those um augment mods for your weapons and maybe even for your warframes, those can really make the difference, you know, man. And just, you know, farming these things to sort of like speed up the progression of your account. Super worth it in my opinion, because like, you know, even if you're not planning on using the, um, the Warframe Augment mods or the Weapon Augment mods, you can still, you know, buy some of them if you have spare standing and then just sell them for Platinum, right? Which will allow you to advance uh, advance your account even more, you know? So that's what it's all about. Just getting as much as possible every single day. So really, that's that's kind of it. So what is going to happen is if you're playing a tile set like this, you may find that the minimap is a tad bit confusing, but I wouldn't m worry too much about it. If you're struggling finding the medallions, then, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You know, you can always come back and um, try again the next day. You know, it's not like you need to get every single medallion every day. Of course, if you can, that's great. But, you know, just letting you guys know that this is here and that you can use this to sort of progress. Like, sometimes they spawn on top of these things as well. So, right here, you know, I would have never found this if I uh, hadn't had my Feast Whip mod on. So... You know, there's, there's some pretty dirty spots, and obviously, as um, the game develops more, there's going to be more and more sort of hidden spots added, more and more tile, uh, tile sets, so definitely worth having the Feast Whip mod on to sort of help you out with that, so that's really it. So once you uh, find all the medallions, you're sort of happy with, you know, the amount of medallions that you find, just go ahead and complete the mission, you know. You have a pretty decent loadout here if you're running, like, an invis frame, uh, you know, your Ignis and stuff like that there. It's it's an okay loadout. It's not the best loadout in the game, but it's enough to get you through, especially these low-level sort of um, uh, syndicate missions, you know? So it's not as if you're going to be needing your Tigris Prime or anything like that there to get through your syndicate missions because you'll get standing from your syndicate missions. You'll get standing from the, uh, from the medallions you pick up, and this is all on top of your daily cap for your earnings which you can spend your medallions and stuff on. So just having a big backlog of the medallions and stuff, sort of farming them every single day, getting as much XP as you can towards your syndicates every day. It's nothing but beneficial, at least in my opinion. And I definitely think it is worth the uh, worth the time investment. But saying I have four of them, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the mission. And I may pick up a few along the way. Like maybe what, we might find a rare one if we're lucky. Um, but... I'm not too fussed about finding every single one of them. So let's just go ahead and uh, extract noise. And we're near the end anyway. So just by casually playing, like not looking too hard, I was able to find four of them, you know, which is which is pretty good. So, you know, that's uh, that's just kind of how it goes. So let's see if we can find any more just before we, we exit. I don't think that's one. That's just a glowy blue fling. I've never seen that before. Never seen that before. That's really cool looking. Is there any here? Here we go. No? On top? It says that there's one somewhere. Can't find it though. Is it under here? I don't know. Okay, I said I'm not too fussed and I, I, I look anyway. But so yeah, let's just go ahead and extract. We'll head over to the relay. We'll turn these in and, uh, you know, we'll talk about the amount of stuff we can get. So. I got 2,157 Syndicate Standing for my new Luka. Not too sure where my other Syndicate Standing is for my uh, parent sequence and why that isn't showing up here, but that's kind of strange, just in my opinion. Maybe it's because I'm at the cap. That might be it, so let's go ahead and see. I'm already at the cap. So if I'm at the cap, obviously I can't earn anymore. Yeah, I was at the cap for my, uh, my parent sequence. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy uh, a few Void Relic Packs before we go ahead and we go over to... 
the uh the relay here the turn my syndicate medallions so let's see there we go now we'll head over to thing just go to any relay you can so i'm just going to go to the mercury one go to laundria cam right now let it load and do all of its good stuff and then we'll go to our vendor guy here i don't even know the names of the guy um go ahead and see if we can see his name as well that's the thing of Warframe, like, you, you don't really remember the character's names outside of, like, let's say the Lotus or some of these standout bosses, you know? I don't know the names of these people, like the Syndicate people. It's, they never really sort of, like, stood out to me. This guy's taking a selfie. Never mind, no, he's not. Okay, maybe he's a little bit embarrassed. Like, this guy, I don't know his name, but let's just go ahead and talk to him. So, you can see, actually, it's not him that we talked to, it's this guy over here. So, you'll see that there's a bunch of medallions behind him. Just go ahead and talk to him. And then what will happen is you can see the amount that each sort of medallion is worth. So if you pick up a small medallion, it's worth 500 standing. A middle-sized medallion is worth 1,000. And then a big one is worth 5,000. And you know it's a big one because it'll be glowing a lot. So I have actually six available here. So I can turn that in to get 30k standing. I can turn in these to get, you know, I have a lot of medallions actually. So I could probably get like a lot of standing. So... This is a lot of uh, a lot of mods and stuff that I could buy just because I'm turning all this stuff in. So I got 12k, 19k, 30k. So it's a lot, right? And I just got like a lot of my standing that I spent on my Void Relic packs back from just turning in all the medallions that I had saved up. So if you want to save them up and then turn them in whenever a new update comes out, like let's say a new Prime Frame gets introduced and you can buy Relic packs, uh, wait for new augments and stuff to come out, that's something you can do as well. There's a lot of options with it, but I can't stress enough, it's really worth going in and just getting the medallions. And even if you're just passively collecting them, at least having like Thief's Wit on and bringing an Ignis or something to sort of help you find them as you're casually playing from three of the Syndicate missions, it can really help out a lot. So other than that there, uh, I'm going to show you guys where you turn in the medallions for all the factions. So we've got this guy over here, this is where you turn in your... Uh, your new Lucas stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and redeem my new Lucas stuff here as well and um, you know it's not like um, there's any syndicate that is better than the other this is the uh, the uh, what do you call these guys red veal so there you go it's in the screen now this is what theirs look like and this is um, I can I actually have some of these as well because I've been playing with my friends and stuff so yeah I'll show you what the new Luca ones look like as well even though you've probably already seen them on the little page thing they're on the ground there Obviously, whenever you're playing in-game, they'll be glowing a little bit, and you'll be able to see them like that, but... Head over to the Steel Meridian one now, and show you what these ones look like, because I feel like these ones look a lot cooler. So, you just talk to this... This Grenier bloke here. Kinda... Kinda looks a little bit like Clem. I don't know. But, you know, you can see his stuff down there. Uh, moving on to these guys over here. This is Cephalon Suda. There's just little clusters of data. And then we have... The coolest looking faction, the ones I want to be partnered with, is the uh, Arbiters of Hexus. I think these guys look badass, and I just think this sort of temple looks badass too. So, But unfortunately, they hate me right now, but I'm planning on changing that, so these guys look badass. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hopefully, you guys learned a little bit about um, you know, your medallions and your syndicates and stuff like that there. So... If you did, go ahead, hit like. Make sure to use those AoE weapons like the Atomos, Ignis, Atarax with range mods, stuff like that there. Should make it a breeze and just frames that make the um, overall experience of finding medallions really easy. So you can throw on that Feast Whip mod onto basically any frame build as long as you have the space for it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button below. If you want to, if you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.